Hi and welcome back to Being Challenges uh, channel. Today's video that this is really important that I like you to understand, right? In a way, right? When I was went to uh, cash generators in Barry, you know the second-hand shop in Barry, the cash generators. So basically, I thought to myself, it would be nice for me to buy myself a bike. For £30, not bad, it's not going to be like, you know, no problems with it. So basically, I went in there, I asked the guy, right, I said, I asked him, right, is the bike um, alright? He said, yeah, 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 it's, it's alright, no, shit, right? So basically, I said to myself, the tyres look punctured because it's like flat. And I said, and he said to me, no, 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 they're not, they're not punctured or anything. No, 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 don't worry, they're not punctured or anything. So basically, I said, okay. Is this bricks good? He said, yeah, 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 okay, the, the bricks are good, right? So basically I thought to myself, self to myself okay, I uh, trust this bike. So basically I gave him the, the £30. And I asked him, right, how many days, right, if anything goes wrong with him? Oh, 14 days. I looked at the receipt, right, he told the lie. So basically he said, to me, it's, within 14 days, you go back and change whatever image you want. It says on a 48 hours. So basically, what is the difference of saying, 14 days of, you know, any damage repair, right? And then all of a sudden it's on the receipt, it says 48 hours. So basically, right, I was uh, riding la uh, bike last night. No, night before his night? Last night? Yeah, night before night. Yeah, last night, sorry. So basically, I was riding back from Hot For You. I only had 40, 40 PSI in my tyres because I had, I did put 18 in there, but I took some out, so basically I grabbed the road and you know, because it's wet. So basically what I did is, I uh, was coming back from Hot For You, I did no skids, no nothing. Because like, I was usual when you were uh, on a bike that, if you pull a skid, that it was boom. So I was coming back and then I decided to pack my bike up, didn't I? I was uh, going underneath, for, underneath ground and everything, blah blah blah. And then, all of a sudden, I packed my bike out. This is the most horrific thing ever happened to me. I put my bike out, and then, obviously, you know, I was checking it, obviously, like, you know, locked up, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, a huge bike out there. I thought to myself, I thought to myself, right, is someone outside like, sending a rocket off or something? It's basically, right, my tire blew. I didn't know what the hell happened or anything. There's no nails, no nails, no nothing will hit the wheel. No nothing. So basically, I, I packed myself out, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then I locked my wheel, um, my bike up in, underneath ground. So anyway, I thought to myself, oh, this is not going to cause anything. As soon as I leave, I don't want to happen or anything, but as soon as I left, it would boom. And then all of a sudden, I got deaf, did I? So basically, I went back, I thought something, you know, some, you know, something major happened to it. Guess what happened? I had a bloody explosion ever. And I only got deaf. That's why today I can't hardly hear people talking. He said, what happened is that I just just packed my bike up, going boom! 40 PSI. It says 40 on a dumb wheel, I think it's 40 or 80, I don't know. I put 40 in it because it's like the grip of the road. So all of a sudden, went, boom! So basically, what I'm going to say is, right, if you think about get a bike for your cash generators, Right, do me a favor, do not trust them. They are scammers. Do you think about doing right? I'm actually really gonna open and honest towards you guys. If you're thinking about doing what I did, don't. Don't believe the bullshit with the X. Oh, yeah, by the way, guess what? We're gonna, get, we're gonna buy this BMX or this Camaro, right? Is it like, oh, yeah, the bike, the bike's perfect, right? Yeah, the bike's good, not look, gonna look, pop, pop on you. Two bloody days out it, and it looks like a kaboom. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck it in the sea and guess what, fuck you. Sorry, I should be spearing. Um, yeah, stuff you. So, guess what guy, uh, cash rate is for me? This is a message for me to say to you. Show us your second hand things out. If a bike's not rideable, it's no, no brakes not going to be working. It's a chain on it. If it's messed up, if it's not looking, get rid of the bike. They're going to say, yeah, I'll have it. Because you all you want is bloody money. That's all you fucking want. It's many, many of this, many of that. If it's not good, if it looks, you know, tattered or damaged or whatever, do not accept it because otherwise you're gonna, you know, cause them to come in against what I'm gonna do, right? And then go in there, right? Basically, they're gonna make a, they make a false allegation. Watch this now, as soon as I go in there, right? On whatever day, I'm gonna go back in there. 
And blame me. And he said, no, the bike was perfect when you had it. No, it wasn't. How is it, how is it perfect? Last two days, right? The bikes would last for like a four months on end. But no, this bike did not like me. Decided to boom on me. So basically, Castro Ages Vargas is very nice towards you, right? Short your, sort out your. Actually, did I tell you, to tell you one thing, right? I asked open towards you. Don't buy the speakers in it. Don't buy the TV in it because it might explode on you. Because at the end of the day, they don't check. Yeah, they say, oh yeah, I guess what it's working, you know. They always want is blending money off you. That's all you fucking want. Alright? So basically, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Yes, I wasn't gonna, you know, post a video on YouTube these for a few days and probably next to... I was gonna do like Thursday or Friday, but I thought to myself, this is really important that, guys, I don't want you to get ripped off because at the end of the day, they're just scammers. I do apologize if this uh, video goes to uh, cash generators and I do shut the place down. Look at me, because I'm telling the damn truth. Because one thing, don't ever, ever scam people. Don't say it's actually working, it's not. Don't actually say it's, you know, it's working in a good condition and everything else. Don't actually say it. Don't actually buy a speaker from it because they might blow up on you. Don't buy a TV from there because it might end up, you know, being faulty. It might blow up in there, like, cause smoke or whatever. So basically, don't actually go there and actually say, oh, by the way, your bike's good, your speaker's good, you're this good. Don't actually scam people because at the end of the day, you're going to fall for the tricks. My dear, as a little kid, right, on a bike, and all of a sudden, two, three, two, three days later, it's like, it just blows up the the bike is going to be like, the brick's gone, the nist is gone. Just don't buy it for cash, right? That's all I can say to you guys, because at the end of the day, yes, I don't care, they're second-hand shops, and they want to buy things, or they want just that, as many. Don't actually go there and just buy shit that you, you don't want to get, and they're not going to work for you as soon as you get home, because they know it's exactly wrong with it, because at the end of the day, they just want to have many things, great, there, bang. I'd rather get a new bike, no, not get a new bike, sorry, get a new, thing get repaired, like Halfords or someone like that, they get trust and they pros are doing it and they can actually do it there and then. They can actually do you know checks in it. They do actually proper checks. Okay, sometimes like I Chris is like they're expensive but you know the prices are cogs and things like that. But at the end of the day, if you wanna buy a bike, go to Halfords or Treads or any bike companies that actually sell proper bikes or anything. Including maybe Morrison's or Asda's, you know, buy something from there, you know, like, you know, from fucking secondhand shops because they're total bullshit. Whatever you do is, right, let me just say it's a fact, right? I do apologize if I actually write over this. Do not buy nothing from country like, you know, speaker, TV, games, because game can be fucked up, or anything. So basically, I do apologize if you go corrupt. Because it's like, end of the day, I just tell you the truth, because end of the day, I'm not going back there again. Because I'm not going to trust you guys anymore. So, can I show you a second on things that works good and what's not good, keep is good. I actually test them, I actually do things with them, like, you know, test the brakes, test the, test the, um, the tyres, test the... Um, chain everything, test everything, not just say you want a bike and, and, and it's not going to work properly for someone else. End of the day, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do drop a like if you really like this video. Please subscribe if you want to subscribe. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you think this is uh, you know, good. So, basically, guys, don't cast, don't ever trust cast your interest in Barry. Thank you for watching and hope you have a wonderful day. Good, goodbye.